Business so we'll return now to our reporter, Lyndall Curtis, at Parliament House in Canberra. Now, Lyndall, obviously it's been a frantic day so far in Canberra. Can you just take us through how the events unfolded today? Well, yes, you're right, Nicole. A frantic and somewhat strange day in Parliament House. The government, uh, first thing this morning, moved the gag motion that it had lost yesterday, which is effectively to bring on the carbon tax vote. It got the numbers for that today. The Palmer United Party and Ricky Muir from the Motoring Enthusiasts, who yesterday he voted against it, today he voted for it. So all was set to wrap up the debate by just before midday Canberra time. But in the interim, we heard from Clive Palmer that uh, uh, the Palmer United Party had put forward a new amendment on making sure those cuts from, from power prices were passed on to consumers and he said that the government hadn't accepted it and if it wasn't accepted by the government then the Palmer United Party would not vote for the carbon tax repeal. So there was much discussion and toing and froing and people seen meeting in corridors including the government Senate leader Erica Betts and Mr Palmer himself about, about the amendment. The government, a government source told me the government actually accepted the amendment at 9.20 this morning but when it got to the floor of the Senate, Glenn Lazarus, who is the leader of Palmer United Party in the Senate, withdrew his amendment. As I mentioned before, that is the amendment that was the crucial one for the Palmer United Party. They said they had to be sure that if prices fell as a result of the carbon tax being repealed, then those falls would be passed on to consumers. So that amendment it didn't effectively get debated at all by the Senate. The Senate which is, was sitting in what's called committee stage, moved on to vote on the whole bills. That vote was rejected, that the bills be passed. And, uh, and then there was the final vote that, uh, that the committee report be adopted, and it was. So the government has not got its carbon tax repeal.